There are so many misconceptions and opinions when it comes to getting top dollar for your home. And the burning question is, what truly works for getting that high return on your investment or the money that you put towards getting it ready to sell? Think about it this way. If you were on the buy side, would you want to pay extra for someone else's renovations or would you rather save that money and make it your own? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what to do that will not cost you a lot of money, but they will definitely help you sell your home quicker and you will see a return on your investment from these. Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Dominic Quintanilla and I am your go-to real estate agent right here in Orange County, California. If you're thinking about selling soon and you have any questions at all, or maybe you wanna see what your home is worth in today's market, please feel free to call me, email me, text me, or there is a link down below that you can schedule a call with me. And there's also a link down below where you can get a free instant home evaluation. So number one, right away, the first and simplest thing to do is a real deep clean and declutter. And when I say deep clean, I mean deep clean. Clean all windows, all window sills, tracks, scrubbing or replacing dirty light switch covers, polishing doorknobs, wiping down doors, scrubbing baseboards, moving everything and anything that you can to clean under all of your appliances, your sofa, moving everything on your countertop and cleaning underneath it. You really want to clean every inch of your home. I think hiring a professional cleaning service is the best investment for this. Just make sure you do a deep clean. And less is more when it comes to personal items in the home. You're already planning on moving, so now is that perfect time to pack up and start depersonalizing your home. Now, taking down family photos is something that many people have mixed feelings on. Some people feel that it helps connect future homeowners to the home, and others like myself think that it tends to make it more difficult to envision yourself in the home when all you see is another family in each room. And I'm really curious about your thoughts on this one. Please let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Family photos, should they stay up or should they go away? Number two, this next tip will give you one of the highest returns on your money spent. And this is a fresh coat of neutral colored paint, like a white or a shade of white. This will make a huge difference, interior and exterior. But if you were to choose one, I would do the interior and power wash the exterior. And this is especially true if you have a bunch of different colored walls or brightly colored walls, or maybe there's a lot of wear and tear. Repainting everything really goes a long ways. Even the cabinets, if they need it, it will bring your house back to life. It will also brighten up rooms and then white or light colors will also make the rooms appear larger. So the condition of walls and the baseboards is a pretty good indicator of how well the home is maintained, but paint will cover up all of that wear and tear. When it comes to rental properties, even property owners that don't upgrade their property in between tenants, the ones that just leave everything as is, they don't ever put any money into it, will still typically repaint every wall because it does make such a big difference, especially in photos. And now if you have popcorn ceilings, make sure to scrape that off. It's gonna add about 30 years back to your house. And having smooth ceilings also reflects light better, which will help your rooms appear larger. But for this, I do recommend consulting with a professional to clean it up because there is a risk of being exposed to asbestos and that's not something that you wanna play around with. Don't do this yourself, hire somebody to do it. It can be very dangerous and make sure you get it tested as well. And this is also another reason to remove this ahead of time. Some buyers, especially the ones that are more health conscious and aware, will not be attracted to a home with popcorn ceilings and potential asbestos exposure. They'll immediately see the popcorn ceilings and it will be a deal breaker because they're not gonna to wanna to deal with the containment and everything that goes along with it if there is asbestos in it. Now, of course there is a cost to this, but you will definitely see a return on that investment. You will see that money come back because ultimately your home will now appeal to a larger audience. And now the next thing you need to do is make all necessary repairs and make sure that you keep all receipts and records. If you have any repairs that you know need to be made, go ahead and make them. If you have any leaky faucets, damaged drywall, maybe the HVAC system isn't working like it should, or you have some faulty outlets that you never got around to fixing, this all really needs to get fixed. Now, this can be time consuming and daunting to think about, but if you don't complete these repairs, just know that an inspector will call it out in their report. And when it comes to repairs or anything wrong with the home, each repair that is called out is pretty much like a discount in the buyer's eyes when it comes to negotiations. So it is best just to eliminate any of that right away. And I always recommend doing a pre-sale home inspection before your home goes on the market. This way, the inspector can call everything out that needs to be repaired or looked at. And if there are repairs that you're just not able to do, okay, well, at least now you are aware of them so you can disclose these up front and the buyers are now informed and aware of exactly what they are purchasing if they decide to put in an offer. Or you can disclose this after the offer is submitted. And what you're really doing is removing all of those items from negotiations so that way they're not a surprise, they're well aware of what they're getting into. And you may think that this will limit your buyers or you're advertising all the flaws up front, but the upside of this is, say you take your home off the market because you did accept an offer and you didn't do a pre-sale inspection, you don't know what's wrong with it, all of a sudden the inspector 
inspector comes back and they have this entire itemized list. The buyer is going to look at that and a lot of items are really small and minor, but it doesn't matter. In the buyer's eyes, it's check, 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 check. So now you have a buyer that can potentially just walk away and say, well, we're not happy with this or it's more than we were expecting. And now you're going back to square one after already spending 17 days off market. So the ultimate goal here is really just take away all of those reasons for negotiations or buyers backing out, repair as much as you can. And they are well aware of what they're getting into if they decide to submit an offer and move forward with the purchase. So now this next one, if your agent posts photos of your home and they look like this, if they look like they were taken from a phone, that is a red flag. High quality professional photography should be a non-negotiable and not something you try to save a dollar with. If your agent is unwilling to invest in professional photography or drone footage or doesn't understand its value, it might be time to look for a new agent and reevaluate that. Find someone who prioritizes marketing your home effectively. You can't market your home effectively for top dollar if your photos look like they were an afterthought. Your photos are the first impression and in a market where professional photos are a standard, your home's perceived value just dropped. Also, when it comes to ranking your home towards the top of the list on websites, the quality of the image plays a big role in that. The websites have technology that picks up on photo quality. So I can't stress enough, do not cut corners on photography. You'll be stepping over dollars to pick up pennies and it just doesn't make sense. You have one of your biggest assets and you're saving a couple hundred dollars to risk thousands is just not worth it. I hope some of these tips provided some value for you. If you have any questions at all, or if you need any personal advice on your home, or you would like a custom home evaluation, my contact information is down below. Please don't hesitate to reach out. And if you need a real estate agent in your area, or you need help finding one, I'm more than happy to assist you with that. If you got any value out of this, please just go ahead, do me a favor and smash that like button. It really helps support my channel more than you know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.